Hello there guys, welcome to another e-bike repairs video. Um, I've gotten a Carrera Cross City E battery today. It's a 36 volt, 8.7 amp hour. Um, customer's lost the key, so I picked the lock and um, taken it out of the bike. I'm just going to replace the lock barrel. So, to do that, you've got one, two, three, four screws around the edge. Tiny little nuts on the end there that you will probably lose if you're not really paying attention. A little clip here, this one's broken slightly. This one's broken slightly. I wonder if the battery might have been open in the past, but doesn't matter. Um, and then two screws here to release the battery lock. To take the case in half, you'll have to undo at least one of these because it will hold it together. Ask me how I know. Uh, right, so, one, two. I don't even know if I have the right battery lock for this, but if I don't, this video will either be two parts or you'll never see it. There are those little uh, little nuts there. Four of those. And then the battery should come apart because the clips are just, well, they're, they're just broken already. Yeah. And then you can get the little lock out just like that. I'm pretty sure this is almost a bog standard high long lock. Uh, I'll just grab my box of locks and we'll check. In a slightly evil turn of events, it's not quite the same, so the housing is identical as a standard sort of a high long lock, but the pin is chamfered. So I'm thinking I should be able to take out the innards from this, the actual lock barrel, and put it in this lock barrel instead. Um, there are tiny springs in here, so if you don't do it in a vaguely clean sort of working environment, you will lose bits and you will hate life. Um, but, you know, here we are. So to remove the lock, there's a flip screw there with sort of a, a pointy bit on the end. And there's one on here. This one can just come out because we don't care about it and we don't want it to be there. This one, you want to put the little key in and have that in there and it will keep all the little pins in where they should be. Otherwise you'll you'll regret everything. Um, now, this part here should go in that jobby faces down at the bottom. You can see down in there, there's a little hole at the bottom, should go in there. He says hopefully. To come up a touch. There you go. Ta-da! Barrel fitted. One up and down. So hopefully this will all just line up perfectly and it's all gonna be okay. And then that screw can go back in here. Key out, key in, uh, it will go in the locked position, ah, uh, but the key doesn't come out in the unlocked position. That's no good, because you'll still never get the battery out of the bike, because the key will be stuck in it. I feel like it would just need to turn that a little bit more. Let's have another look, shall we? But what could be stopping that from turning all the way? So this is the barrel from the slidey one. And this is the one from the other one. Very slightly different in height. The other option would be I could grind this pin down flat and that would totally work. But I feel like that should work in there. Let's put you in there. Put this back in here. There's nothing to stop this pin rotating, though, is the other problem. Out. I don't know if that's going to work because it can rotate. Probably horribly out of focus here. Hmm. Never simple, is it? That's because it just pushes in a little bit too far. Right, okay, it might be doable. So, yeah, I wanted that one. Pin in, slightly up. Uh, 
and it wants to just be kept out about that far. So I'm wondering if we put the screw in about there somewhere. Okay. It might be doable. We get all that to line up. And we'll pop the screw in just here. Key in. Oh. Well. That's buggered that, hasn't it? Half the bins are falling out. Don't think they're quite the same depth, these two cylinders, unfortunately. Perhaps we could use the longer screw in this housing. Let's try that. No, it doesn't even turn at all then. Key goes in, but won't spin. Didn't manage to find, didn't manage to get that to work, I don't think, but I'm pretty sure this one will. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Get out. Okay. This lock barrel here. And is held in so solidly. Okay. Just a random old battery case I really don't care about it. Take that off. Now that looks about right, doesn't it? You can see. Looks much better. The customer would only have one key, but if I don't have the correct lock barrel, what am I supposed to do? Uh, so, that looks identical. Excellent. That's why you keep old stuff. One key is better than no keys, isn't it? So that'll go in like... Like that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Screws in. One. Two. And now, there you go, lock barrel. Obviously if you had the correct lock barrel this whole process would be super simple and easy. There'd be no, uh, no struggling with that. Just that I didn't have the correct lock barrel so to use an old one anyway mm, delicious thank you very much for watching and hopefully this helps somebody and now i know that you can't reuse a regular high long lock barrel with one of these thanks for watching and uh, yeah have a good day bye bye